A teen from the east side of the state is expected to recover after some scary moments during the high school state swim finals out in Holland. 24 Hour News 8's Casey Jones is live with how lifeguards and coaches help make a quick rescue today. Casey. Yeah, Brian, we don't exactly know what happened leading up to the events, but we do know, according to the director here at the Aquatic Center, that this diver didn't hit his head on the diving board. They just found him at the bottom of the 13-foot pool. They acted quickly, got him out of the pool, resuscitated him, got him to the hospital, and tonight he's expected to make a full recovery in the company of his family in what was a very frightening event here at the Division II State Finals. Hundreds of swimmers from across the state splashing the water at the Holland Aquatic Center for the Division II state championships. In the midst of all the hustle, swimmers, lifeguards, and coaches noticed a diver at the bottom of the 13-foot tank. A very scary incident. Uh, out of the blue, it's almost something like you'd see from the movies. Just, uh... Saginaw Heritage coach Garrett Snook says five or six lifeguards and fully clothed coaches dove in. I started walking up to the diving well like I was going to jump in and there seemed like there was enough people that dove in to help out. After pulling the diver from the bottom, CPR was performed on the wind-out Roosevelt student. They got him breathing once again. He had a pulse and was conscious before taken to the hospital. You don't really, really expect something like that to happen at a swim meet, but I think that the lifeguards and the coaches and everyone around did a good job to get him out as soon as possible and resuscitate him so he was uh, conscious leaving the pool. The competition itself was delayed for about 15 minutes as the thousands of people there were shaken and worried. But tonight, are handing out perfect tens to know this diver is just fine. Now this was all the preliminary action, the qualifying action this afternoon here at the Holland Community Aquatic Center. Tomorrow, all the state champions will be crowned as competition continues in the Division II state finals. All that begins at noon right here. Live in Holland, Casey Jones, 24-hour news 8.